Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve this problem plus minus in Python programming. So we have given an array of integers which will be having numbers in negative, positive and zeros. So what we have to do is we have to find the ratios of positive numbers to the total number of elements in an array and same for negative numbers to the total number of elements in an array and total number of zeros to the total number of elements in an array. So that ratio we have to print using print statement so here if you see the example that is one one zero minus minus one so there are five elements in an array there are two positive two negative and one zero so according to that they have given a ratio that is two by five two by five and one by five so that we have to print so we will directly go to the function here so first what we'll do is we'll take three variables that is p count n count and z count which will count the number of elements that is how many numbers are positive how many numbers are negative and how many numbers are zeros so i'm going to run and for loop on this array error so if this element is less than zero then i am going to increase the n count And if the element is greater than 0, then p count should be increased by 1. And if element is equal to 0, then z count should be increased by 1. So indentation should be perfect. So at the end of this for loop what we'll get is we'll get the number of elements which are positive in this p count number of elements which are negative in this n count and number of elements which are zeros in this chart count from this array ARR. So what we have to do is we just have to print the ratios that is p count divided by length of this array and the same thing for this and count and same thing for this set count so we are just going to change the variable name that is p count and count and set count divided by length of this array so i'm just going to run this code so if you see here the first two test cases has passed we'll submit this code so this code is passing all the test cases so this is this code you can use to solve your problem so thank you for watching